It's the very first recap of Dancing with the Stars Season 16. I'm very excited. This is one of my uh, favorite reality competition shows. So let's begin. They have 12 stars that are competing this season. Kelly and Derek were up first. Um, they, had, they added some new stuff, and I have to say I'm not really liking it, but we'll get there. All right, so Kelly was up first. I didn't like the way they styled her hair. She cut her hair for a great cause. It looked adorable in the rehearsal. And then they sent her out there like a bad wig. They aged her about 10 years with that hair tonight. Um, ugh, that person should be fired. I'm sorry. It was just so bad. All right, uh, they had a cha-cha. It was a great start to the season, to the show. She totally rocked it. Um, she didn't hold back. She gave out a great performance. You remember from Idol. What's a ballsy? <laughs> She's just cute as a button. So she ended up with a 21. Uh, Victor and Lindsay up next. They're both new, obviously. Uh, Victor's boxer. He started boxing when he was seven years old. That's crazy. And he pretty much raised himself and his younger brother. Uh, they had a foxtrot. She's new. She was from uh, So You Think You Could Dance. I loved her on So You Think You Could Dance. He was a little bear in the swamp, but you know what? She was a little nervous, too, it seemed like. But he did a very respectable uh, job for not having any dance experience. And foxtrot isn't an easy dance to do, so uh, they ended up with an 18. Now, Ingo and Kim were up next. <laughs> He lives in Hawaii. He's a hunk. He's from General Hospital, in case you didn't know. Um, he did okay. He wasn't the most graceful, but he pulled off some lifts pretty pretty well. But 75% of the routine was lifts. And they were the first ones to dance contemporary this season. That's one of the new things. I'm not very happy about the whole contemporary thing. I really think this show should just focus on ballroom because there's so many different things that you could do with ballroom. Why drag all these other styles into it? It's it's just, it's too much. I could see if um, some of the professionals were actually, you know, professional and contemporary, that would be a different story. But to, to force them to do it when they're ballroom champs, I don't think it's right. So uh, Ingo and Kim ended up with a 20. Uh, the scoring tonight was all over the place. I think it was quite unfair in most circumstances. All right, Lisa and Gleb, again, both new. Lisa's my favorite uh, real housewife. She's from Beverly Hills. Uh, Gleb is kind of a young Ukrainian slash Russian bed boy. <laughs> He, he seems to be getting away with a lot. I'm sure Ken is quite upset in the audience. It seems like he's a little handsy with Lisa. And again, what was up with her hair? Who's ever doing the hair tonight? It didn't even look like her. She looked like a totally different person and not in a good way. They had a foxtrot. It started off with Jiggy and a tux. I love Jiggy. Uh, I wanted her to do well, but it was not good. She seemed kind of overwhelmed. All right, a lot overwhelmed. 18 for her. Uh, D.L. Hughley and Cheryl. Uh, he's a former gang member, so it just goes to show you, if you're determined, um, you can pretty much do anything with your life. They had a cha-cha, and there was a minimum of dancing in this routine, and the little that he did do, it was bad. <laughs> it was so bad that he got the lowest score of the night, and when I say lowest, I mean by like five points. He, they gave him a 12. It was, the, it was pretty low. Still, I don't think it was the lowest I've ever seen on the first show of any season, so... Good for you! <laughs> Zendaya and Val. She's the Disney baby. She's only 16 years old, the youngest ever in the history of the show. And they also had contemporary... And I thought it was really fantastic, but she is a dancer. Yes, a hip-hop dancer, but still, she's a dancer. I'm not surprised that she did really well. I mean, she's a fetus. She's got some... <laughs> Alright, she's a large fetus. She's got some uh, stamina. You know, she's a little little youngster. 
So she got the highest score of the night, uh, 24 for her. All right, up next, Sean and Peter. Sean, AKA The Last Bachelor, who just finished, he just wrapped last week. Uh, they had a foxtrot. I have to say, <laughs> it was like watching Frankenstein in a swamp. Um, I thought the judges were a little bit too kind here. He ended up with a 19. Again, he doesn't have dance experience, but I don't think he deserved 19. All right, Allie and Mark, she is the most decorated Olympic athlete or gymnast or I don't know, but she's an Olympian, former Olympian, maybe a future Olympian. They had a cha-cha. First of all, the band massacred that One Direction song. It was horrific. And I was expecting a lot from her because it seems like the Olympic athletes on this show, they really put out. She didn't. <laughs> I was really disappointed, and the judges thought it was okay. Uh, 21. You know, maybe I'm just jaded from Sean Johnson. All right, so Dorothy and Tristan up next. Dorothy, another Olympic athlete. I adored Dorothy Hamill back in the day um, when she was in the Olympics when she won her gold medal. I had her hair. I sure did, along with, like, everyone else at the time. They also had a contemporary, uh, she's just adorable. I can't believe she's 56 years old. She did okay for 56. Um, did I happen to mention that she's 56? It's hard. I mean, it's easy to forget that she's 56 because she looks really good. So 21 for her. Winona and Tony. Poor Tony, he always gets stuck with Winona. <laughs> She's been taking care of her husband, Cactus. I... Is that his real name? <laughs> or is that like his nickname? Could you name your child Cactus? Um, I don't think I could. Um, they had a cha-cha. And the headband lady from the band sang the song very prominently on the dance floor, which was kind of interesting. Poor Winona, though. There wasn't too much movement in this dance and what movement there was there was a whole lot of jiggling it was basically just like jiggling and stomping around she got an 18 I thought the judges were kind uh, Andy and Sharna he's recovering um, from substance abuse of different mediums um, he's so sweet he just, he was, he was very genuine. He broke down and he cried. He didn't want to be bad for her. And, uh, I thought he was just very charming. Maybe he's got me fooled. I don't know, but I really like him. Uh, they did a foxtrot and he was so nervous. It, he was stiff, but he did a respectable job. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that good. You know what? He had no dance experience like Sean, the bachelor. And about the same ability level and the judges only gave him a 17. I thought the judges were a little bit tough on him and I'm kind of PO'd about that. Uh, up next and closing the show was Jacoby and Karina. He's the old football dancer. There's one every season. A uh, bit sloppy. One of the better performances of the night though in terms of uh, performance and maybe not technicality. He's a natural. He had the audience eaten out of his hand. Uh, and to boot, he had half the time to rehearse as everyone else because he had knee surgery. And he ended up with a 20. All right. Uh, did I mention that Andy got a 17? Totally unfair. All right. <laughs> Tomorrow night's show is going to be a recap of tonight's show, so I'm not going to do a recap of a recap. So I'm not going to do it until next week. When they have the next performance show, um, my favorite dance of the night was not the highest score. It was Andy and Sharna. I, I just thought um, he's got a great story and he is like Woody Allen dancing around like a stretched out younger version of Woody Allen. <laughs> kind of looks like my mom's eye doctor. Um, so yeah, I'd like to know uh, what you guys think. Let me know in the comments who your favorite was and uh, we'll compare notes. So till next week, much love.